Hello again, welcome back to my channel. In this video we're going to try and make an ultralight camp table. So to make the table all we need is a few items. I've got a lightweight cheap chopping board that I bought from Pound Shop. A bit of cordage and I've got my Swiss Army knife. I'll start by unwrapping the chopping board. Should have done this at home really. junk in my pocket. Then I'm going to make four holes in the corners of the chopping board. To do that I'll use the reamer or the awl, whichever you call it, on my Swiss Army knife. Which is this tool here. So I'll take the awl and I'll drill some holes through the plastic chopping board. There's one. It only takes a few seconds. We'll do the same on all four corners. That's three. Now the last one. Just be careful that you don't chop your finger because this doesn't actually lock. But you can use a drill at home if you want to. Or the end of your knife. There we go. Four holes. Done. Now I'm going to cut some lengths of cord about two or three foot long, maybe just that kind of arm span. One, two, three, and four. I always just burn the ends of the cord just to stop them fraying. Once I've done that, all I'm going to do is put an overhand knot at one end of the string. Easy. Now we can start to assemble the table. Just push the cord through the hole and pull it through until the knot stops it on the chopping board. Do this on all four corners. Now I've got the cord attached to all four corners, I'm just going to cut a little bit away here to nestle up against the tree. Before I carry on though, I'm just going to pick up all the bits of plastic that are now on the floor. We don't want to leave any rubbish, so ideally you're better off doing this at home. So now we've got our chopping board, cord attached and notch ready, we'll attach it to the tree. So just put the board up to the tree, tie just a shoelace knot at the back of the tree. Now get the support cords 
and we wrap them once around the tree and we tie another shoelace knot. You can then tidy the table up a bit to make it level. I'll also tighten the knot a little bit, dress things up. So there's our table, we'll now see what kind of weight it can hold. Let's see if it's up to the job of making a brew. It holds the water bottle. That looks pretty good so far. Nearly to the top. Let's right, add 500 millilitres in there. 500 on that side. Let's add some alcohol to the stove. Light it up. let's make some coffee. While we wait for the water to boil, I'll just show you around. So all I've done is tied a shoelace knot at the back, wrap once around the tree up there, and another shoelace knot at the front. You can see where the notch is cut out and holds into the tree. Now don't get me wrong, you couldn't sit on this table and it's not, it's not there to take loads of weight, but there's a litre of water on there, plus the, the cook equipment, and it's nice and sturdy. Water's boiling now. Coffee's ready. Give it a stir. There's your camp kitchen, camp table, whatever you want to call it. Only cost a pound, plus about six feet a cord. It's quite sturdy. Definitely better than setting your kit up on the floor all the time. So there we have it, the ultralight camp table. Very easy to make, very cheap to make as well. I recommend you have a go at it. It goes straight into the back of your rucksack, you don't even know it's there. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.